Yeah, everybody, and welcome to Pastor Wyatt TV. Uh, we're going to do the Met Mile by the Thurgraph Numbers and Patterns, and we're going to have some uh, closing thoughts leading into the Belmont Stakes on Saturday, assuming with this whole uh, air quality situation, they, 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 they run on schedule. Uh, that remains to be seen. We'll see what happens, but uh, hang tight a minute, and we'll get to the Met Mile. Thank you for visiting Pastor Wyatt TV, the YouTube channel of PastorWyatt.com. trips with pick six king john stetton it's one of the best tools in horse racing for any level of player it's your second set of eyes spotting troubled trips betting angles track trends horses to watch and favorites to fade 10 figs ticket structure and more at Tracking Trips, you're a friend with benefits. Not a member? You must hate winning money. Join Tracking Trips now. Visit PassTheWire.com and we'll see you in the winner circle. Remember, nobody does it better. You know, historically, one of my one of my observations about the, the Met Mile is obviously it's a it's 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 an ultra fast race uh that's why they call it you know a, a sire's race and uh you know a lot of times speed holds they go real fast early and they just don't come back that you know that one turn elongated sprint uh mile distance out of that belmont you know down that belmont you know backstretch and around that that sweeping turn they just you know, those quality horses just, you know, go fast and, 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 and seem to hang on. It's tough to make up a lot of ground in that race. Uh, it happens, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a fast race. You need, you need sprint to speed and you need to be able to carry it a mile. Uh, so it's kind of, kind of a, a, a really tough, tough race to win. Uh, and so many good horses point to it because it's just got that, that stallion status uh to it uh let's take a look at the thoroughgraph numbers and patterns and see how it, it shapes up uh according to thoroughgraph and my, my opinion of the of the patterns and uh see where it leads now let's start by saying this i look at the patterns in races like this where you have horses that have had three four you know year long sometimes longer five year you know campaigns uh a little differently than i do the you know the derby the preakness the belmont and the you, you know races where you have just you know two-year-old years and three-year-old years to look at you know these horses uh, a lot of them are four and five years old so you have a, a lot more to look at so we're really just going to look at the patterns coming into the race uh and 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 go from there and see who looks like they're going forward who's sitting on a big race and uh see see where it shakes out uh cody's wish ha, cody's wish has the rail uh not the best place to be but he's going to be coming from off the pace so he'll drop back junior will put him you know where 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 he wants him to be and bottom line is Pattern, pattern, no pattern. He's just flat out fast. I mean, every every race he runs is competitive enough to to win here. Uh, you know, we'll go back to last year at Saratoga. He runs a two negative. 
uh, didn't come out of the gate that great. Uh, Keeneland in the Breeders' Cup runs a two negative, comes back off the layoff on Derby weekend, runs a three negative. Uh, so he's running negative numbers, two, three negative. And that, that's kind of what it takes to win the Met Mile and where we can expect to see this race fall. Uh, you know, if, if we go back a little bit into his four-year-old year, you know, his pattern was one and a half, uh, two negative, zero, regressed a little off the, the two negative, but then went right back to the two negative, two negative, and now a three negative, you know. So, you know, I see a two negative, three negative uh, from him. I don't think he's going to regress second off the layoff. Um, I think he's vulnerable for some other reasons, being the rail, being he's going to have to make up some ground on some fast horses. But, uh, you know, pattern wise, he's he's right there. He's the favorite. He's the horse to beat. And he's a legitimate favorite on, on the numbers. Uh, slow down, Andy. Uh, has to improve to compete here, but he does have an improving pattern. Not, not enough, in my opinion, to get you know, to get where he needs to be. Uh, but, you know, this is his first start at four. Uh, I, I, as a two-year-old, he was fast, five, eight and a quarter, three and three quarters, you know, pretty good as a three-year-old, five, five again, uh, five and a half, five and a quarter, uh, eight, slow pace race, one and a half, one and a half paired numbers to close out his three-year-old year. Now he comes back as as as, as a four-year-old. He should run very close to that to that one, uh, maybe even a zero if he if he goes forward. I don't see him going forward a lot more than that, especially coming back in a race like this. Uh, Doctor Shivel, uh, fast horse. We know that Sprinter has never gone a mile, as far as I know. Uh, you know, he's, he, he's fast. He's not as fast as Cody's wish, but you know, he's fast, but he's, you know, sprinter fast. Now we're asking him to go a mile. You know, he had that one race as a four-year-old in Dubai. He run a two that day. He come back the race off the layoff run a zero negative. Uh, you know, his three-year-old year, he was fast. He run a three and a half, a three and a half went forward. You know, we love those those two paired paired fast numbers. Uh, we talked about that on all the other shows. He runs a, a zero neg a zero and, and, and three quarters negative number, a zero two, zero, zero and a half negative number of that to close out his three-year-old year. Uh, one of those was in the Belmont, it was in the Breeders' Cup sprint over at Del Mar where he ran a pretty big race. Uh, you know, I, I see him as a, as a horse off that layoff with that, you know, zero negative. I see him, I see him repeating that. If you can get that mile distance, um, probably not going to be fast enough or good enough to win. Uh, so unless you think he's going to go forward and be even faster or better going a mile, um, tough, tough to take for me. Uh, especially with only that one race back and off, you know, that one race only last year. Um, uh, Hoist the gold, fast horse, not quite as fast as these, but a pattern suggesting a forward move is coming. Uh, you know, as a three-year-old last year, he closed out. He, you know, he started okay, but he closed out with uh, five, five, two and three quarters, three, uh, two and a half, comes back as a four-year-old, got faster, not right away, took him a race, but six and a quarter, then one and a quarter, one and a quarter, um, He's got those two one and a quarters paired. Uh, that, like I said, shows forward move fast enough to go 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 forward with these. Uh, I tend to say no, but he's he's sitting on a forward move in my opinion. Charge it, somewhat of an enigma, running fast numbers without winning. Uh, you know, ran that huge race at Belmont. Uh, a while back, never really repeated it, didn't beat a lot in that race, but that race, he got a four, four negative. That's <laughs> surely fast enough to win uh, just about any race that you will find anywhere. Uh, but he's never run back to that. So did that race take a ton out of him? Uh, I don't know, but he's ne never duplicated that effort. Um, and he has run, although some fast races this year, 
I would say disappointing as far as the results. Um, zero and a quarter, uh, you know, negative number at the start, then repeats that zero and a quarter negative, then runs a, a, a straight zero at Oakland Park last time. Uh, maybe he likes Belmont and could go forward, but his pattern is not one that I would say screams going forward in this race. Uh, Zandon always been a fast horse as a two-year-old uh six and a half four and a half progression uh comes back as a three-year-old and there's that good horse thing that we talked about runs a two and a quarter first time out one and a half progresses a little bit three and a quarter goes back at saratoga one and a quarter one one uh then two two and a two and a half um, comes back this year as a four-year-old in a race that I thought was an interesting spot for him to come back. But now it makes a little bit more sense to me because it looks like Chad was pointing him here, which is also an interesting spot to point this horse. But I've never questioned where Chad places his horses or what races he points for. But he comes back, runs a one, one and a half negative number. Uh, his fastest race to date. Uh, second off the layoff, I think he'll go forward. I think he needed that 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 first race back. Uh, he's got a pattern that screams to me uh, a forward move, and uh, you know one and a half negative number. If he goes forward, he's right there with the fastest in this race. So look out. Repo rocks. Um, what could you say about Repo Rocks? Different horse since he went to the Jamie Ness Bond. Uh, you, you know, number wise, uh, this year, he's got a bunch of starts already this year. So we'll start zero at Parks, uh, then a three negative at Aqueduct, regresses off the three negative to a zero at Aqueduct. Uh, goes forward a little bit to a, a one and a half negative number, um, then a three negative last time. Um, so I see a three negative uh, this year and a bounce to a zero. Then I see a three negative again. I say he regresses again, it shows a similar pattern. Uh, when I look back in his history, uh, he's consistent but I don't know that we can kind of go by his history because he's a different horse with Jamie Ness so I'm going to throw out his history and say that since in the Ness bond I've seen that one one regression off the new the new top uh number so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that he he does that again uh doppelganger uh another horse that's a, a you know, a little bit of a different horse since he uh, moved to Brittany Russell. Uh, but he's got a, an excellent pattern and uh, intriguing. Uh, this year, he's got two and a quarter, one and a quarter, then zero and a half. Uh, looks like he'll go forward into the negative numbers. Uh, you know, one negative, two negative puts him in the mix. Uh, definitely a horse that I think has a forward moving pattern. Uh, Extremely interesting horse, Wider Barrio. Trainer change to Rick Dutro. Uh, I'd be remiss if we didn't point out that this will be Rick's first start in a stake, a grade one since his return. Uh, this guy knows how to win grade ones. He hasn't had this horse a long time, uh, but he knows how to recognize things quickly. Uh, make changes and make a horse happy. No knock on Safi Joseph. I'm not going to get into any of that here. Uh, I'm just strictly talking about Rick and his horsemanship is aces. Uh, and if you think otherwise, you're dead wrong. Uh, this horse, we don't know what he's going to do in his first start, but he does have this year a race that's fast enough to win. He goes from a six and three quarters to a two and a quarter negative number at Gulfstream. Now he's fresh, dangerous, first time Dutro. He's got that two negative. Uh, if he repeats it or runs past it, uh, he's, he's, he's ultra live and he's well drawn on the outside. Uh, which will, will give 
give his rider some options and uh options are, are a good thing to have in a race like the met miles so uh that's how the patterns shake out i think um i think cody's wish is a little bit vulnerable uh you know certainly a legitimate favorite but one that i'm probably going to bet against uh come saturday in the met mile there's a couple of horses that look like they're going forward and i'll pick one of them to get a better trip than him and uh maybe, maybe get the jump on him and, and and beat him to the wire as ultra tough as he may be we'll be back in a in a, in a minute with some final thoughts on the belmont stakes and uh then we'll wrap the show up uh as a quick one Everybody, Dan Oman here with some exciting news. DRF Formulator, the gold standard in past performance information, is now free exclusively on DRF Bets. Join DRF Bets with the promo code WINNING, get a $250 first deposit match bonus, a $10 free bet, and free Formulator already uploaded to your account. Access Formulator's premium features, including sortable trainer stats, race replays, personalized trip notes, and lots more. Free Formulator, exclusively on DRF Bets. You know what I, I thought was interesting about the Belmont? We got nine horses in a race, uh, Belmont Stakes, and only two of them have ever been over 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 Big Sandy, over Belmont in the past. Uh, Archangelo, who won his only start at Belmont, and Forte, who won his only start at Belmont. Uh, interesting. Uh, I'm assuming most of you watched the Belmont show by the, the, the Thurograph numbers and patterns, and... To me, the horses that had the best patterns signifying or, or signaling or telegraphing uh, a forward move were National Treasure and Angel of Empire. Um, that hasn't changed. The numbers don't lie. They don't change. But now I've looked at the race a little bit deeper. And uh, I still lean to those two. And, and, and like I said, very, very tough for me to single. Um, I also think that Tappet Trice is extremely dangerous. Uh, he's a fighter. Uh, if I had a better excuse for the Kentucky Derby, I would like him more, but he, you know, he's the next one I would get to. Uh, Pace-wise, I still think National Treasure has a big advantage pace-wise. I think Tappet Shoes, Brad Cox was on the rail under Jose, will gun, try and make it interesting, but I think Johnny can either beat him to the lead or even sit off him and, 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 and take him when he wants to and make an early move and be the horse that they have to run down. Um, if he beats him out of the gate uh, and doesn't let this horse, you know, sucker him into going too fast, I think he's very dangerous. Uh, I don't think he's going to regress, like I discussed on the, on the other show, off the Preakness. I think he needed that fight. I think it gave him some confidence. Uh, and I think he goes forward and gets and, and, and comes into his own and, and it is a better horse for that race. Uh, Angel of Empire, I think is sitting on a big race uh, coming out of that derby. My, my question mark with him is blinkers on. I don't like a blinker change uh, going into a big race on a horse that ran well. Uh, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. So there's there's something that they're trying to adjust or get more out of or maybe get him closer or whatever i like leaving him in his game i think he's competitive and 
you know, he's got a patent that says he's going to go forward. I don't like messing with it, uh, but I'm not calling the shots Brad Cox's. So that is what it is. Uh, but I think that Tappet Shoes, Cox's horse, will be trying to set it up for uh, Angel of Empire. Uh, and uh, Jose will also be helping Forte, uh, his brother, out a lot because he'll be setting up a, a, for, you know, a, a run from Forte. You know, we discussed Forte uh, on, on the Thoroughgraph show and how the patent didn't scream to me forward. Uh, but here's my knock on Forte. I don't remember off the top of my head any horse that's ever won the Belmont Stakes coming in off the Florida Derby or coming in off that much of a layoff. I didn't look it up, and I don't know that it's never happened. Uh, it's not important enough for me to go back and look at that stat because it wouldn't alter my opinion of this particular race, even if somebody had done it before. I think it's a big ask for a favorite that's been a vet scratch that, you, you, you know, I mean, probably putting him right in the winner's circle. And if he wins, I should call Michael Polly up and say, hey, send us a check because we helped get you in the winner's circle. But I think it's a huge, huge ask and a tough, tough play as the favorite uh, to bet a horse to win the Belmont. Uh, coming off a vet scratch in the Derby, I don't care how minor or how slight, and uh, coming in off that, 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 that many weeks off to go a mile and a half. Uh, even for a guy like Todd Pletcher who knows how to get things done. So uh, I still lean to the two that I lean to, uh, National Treasure and Angel of Empire. Uh, if I go three deep, it would probably be Tappet Trice uh, as the third one that I would use. That's pretty much how I see the Belmont. Um, you know, haven't made my mind up about the Met Mile yet, except to to feel that, you know, in all likelihood, I bet against Cozy Cody's wish as somebody who I respect, but think is vulnerable as the favorite, you, you know, come Saturday. So thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe to the channel. we got a lot more coming. Uh, possibly a really interesting interview next week with a rider who was severely injured at one point in his career and is clawing his way back into the sport. Uh, got to respect that toughness of these guys uh but questions comments throw them in uh you know we'll try to get to them before the races uh if i can i can if i can i can't we're kind of pressed for time at this point but i thought i thought some of you might like uh you know a quick look at the numbers on the on, on the met mile so i'm just throwing that out there and uh some final thoughts on the belmont geo Setti, our man geo uh, he's got a deep dive on the Belmont stakes, uh, up on the channel as well. Uh, so subscribe, stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the big weekend. They canceled Thursday today. Hopefully we run Friday and Saturday without a glitch. Hopefully the horses breathing in that air didn't have any impact or effect on them. I don't know. I'm not smart enough to know the answer to, to any of that, but, uh, Let's let's certainly hope not and hope that the powers that be making these calls put the horses first, know what to do, what not to do, and uh, everything goes off the way that it is supposed to. So that's all we got. Thank you, everybody, and ciao for now.